today's video i would like to introduce a very nice problem of yugoslav mathematical olympiad edition 1980 question number one okay our question determine all integers x such that our question determine all integers x such that we have the following setup we have x squared plus 3 times x plus 24 is a perfect square we are going to determine x in order to have the whole expression is a perfect square okay so the hint that i'm trying to give to this problem as usual we are going to make this one on the form of the product to factor out in order to get x as a value okay i would recommend to give that try before getting to the solution also don't forget to support us with your like and subscribe now let's get started so we have this following expression if you take a look at both sides of this equation we have m square here we have x square so I'm going to move over this x squared to the right in order to have the factorization form of this one, okay? So we'll have 3x plus 24 equals m squared minus x squared. This one is on the form of the difference of the squares. So I'm going to, I'm going to factor out this one. It's giving me m minus x factor m plus x. And also, on the left-hand side of this equation, I'm going to take 3 as a common factor. I will have 3 factor x plus 8 equals m minus x is multiplied by m plus x. Here is a nice expression on the form of the product. So now I'm going to, now I'm going to solve this equation. So I will have the following possibilities. I'm going to divide this one into many cases. So the case number one, I will have number three equals to this term, m minus x. And this term must take the other term, which is m plus x. So we'll have x plus eight equals m plus x. This is the first possibility. The case number two, I will have the inverse can 3 can take m plus x we cannot say this term is smaller than this term or this term is, is bigger than this term because we have x as an integer it can be x it can be positive it can be negative also m can be positive can be negative okay so we don't know anything about x okay so we have to do the all possibilities we have to write down all the possibilities okay so it will have 3 this time i will have 3 equals to this term course m plus x the next term i will have x plus 8 equals to m minus x okay the case number three so the entire left hand side of this equation can take only this term m plus x okay so we'll have 3 is multiplied by x plus 8 equals m plus x that's mean number one it will take m minus x okay so the last case the case number four i can have entire left hand side of this equation equals just m minus x i will have three is multiplied by x plus eight equals m minus x if the left hand side of this equation is taking m minus x that's mean number one is taking m plus x okay so number one equals m plus x if we knew x is a positive or negative we wouldn't write all these possibilities so now we have to go through each one okay so for the first case i'm going to solve for x and m in order to get one of those variables in order to get x evaluated i'm going to eliminate m from this system okay so by doing that i'm if i'm going to do this equation minus this one this means x plus 8 minus 3 which is x plus 5 okay for this one m will be eliminated that's mean we have x minus minus x which is 2x okay so by taking so by taking x to the right side i will get x equals 5 x equals 5 i'm going to insert this value of x into the first equation to find m okay i will have 3 equals m minus 5 by taking 5 to the left hand side of this equation i will get m equals 8. here is the value of x and m so let's move on to the second equation system 
in order to find the value of m and x i'm going to do the same job here i'm going to eliminate m from this equation so i will have if i'm doing the second equation minus first equation will get x plus 8 minus 3 which is x plus 5 okay for the second one m will be eliminated i will get minus x minus x which is minus 2x by taking minus 2x to the left side i will get 3x equals minus 5 by taking also minus 5 by taking 5 to the right hand side of this equation i will get 3x equals to minus 5 which is impossible because x is an integer impossible to have this expression 3x equals minus 5 this is impossible so let's move on to the third equation m will be eliminated by doing this one minus this one so we'll have m plus x minus m minus x i will get 2x uh, this one minus this one i will get 3x 3x plus 24 minus 1 or minus 1 which is 20 23 okay which is x equals minus 23 okay so it's more simple to find m because we have 1 equals m minus x so m equals 1 plus x by sticking the x to the left hand side of this equation i will get m equals 1 plus x which equal 1 minus 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 23 which is minus 22 okay now we found the value of m which equals minus 22. let's move on to the last equation by doing this equation minus this equation if i'm doing that i will get m will be eliminated m will be eliminated i will get minus x minus x which is minus 2x minus 2x this one will have 3x uh, 3 is multiplied by 8 is giving us 24 24 minus 1 is, is giving us 23 plus 23 okay so by taking 3x to the left hand side of this equation i will get 3x my i will get minus 3x minus 2x which is minus 5x equals 23 this one is also impossible okay because x has an integer number this one impossible so this case and this case are rolled out of those possibilities so i will take only this case and this case okay now i found two solutions so i found x equals 5 and i found x equals minus 23 okay here are only two solutions that i found i have done with this problem if you are interested in watching this one don't forget to support us with your like and subscribe thank you for watching we'll see you next video bye